to the Brennick Channel is back, and today we are talking about the Colorado River update. I'm a couple days behind. Things got complicated on Saturday, recorded black, so on and so forth. But here we are. Here we are, and we are rolling right out to the Flaming Gorge and getting this show right underway here like we always do. And your current level is 6,012.97 feet, and the level is 27.05 feet below full pool of 6,040, and we continue to roll on. And your full pool level is 6,040, and on this date in 2020, the level was 6,025.83 feet. On this date in 2021, the level was 6,019.04 feet. Today's date is 6,012.95 feet, and we continue to roll on. Your inactive pool is 5,871. Your dead pool is 5,740. Flaming Gorge is down 6.09 feet from one year ago. Flaming Gorge is down 12.88 feet from two years ago. Flaming Gorge is 141.95 feet from an active pool. Flaming Gorge is 272.95 feet from Deadpool. Got a long ways to go before that would ever happen. And we continue to roll on your inflows versus your outflows. Your current inflows are 1,607. Your current outflows are 1,819. And Flaming Gorge is down 0.66 feet in the last 14 measurements. Flaming Gorge is down 0.02 feet in the last 24 hours. Percentage of capacity is currently 70.69% of capacity. And your storage acre feet is 2,677,722 feet. And those are acre feet. And we continue to roll on. And here is what they released from their previous year, 117.37%. And this year, so far, they have released 0.71%. And remember, the water year started October 1st. So these are the first two days as they lag in the upper and the lower for that matter. So here we continue to roll on. Total releases so far for this year in 2023 is 6,786. 2021, they released 817,934. 2022, these are the water years, 960,000 and 26 acre feet is what they released at the Flaming Gorge last water year which we are now officially into the 2023 water year so just don't be confused by that just in case you are the end of the water year was september 30th beginning of the water year starts october 1st i think that's when the government's new year starts so that's why they do that now we're rolling out to lake navajo and lake navajo's current water level is 6020.58 feet the level is 64.42 feet below full pool of 6080 and like I just said, full pool 6,085. On this date in 2020, the level was 6,042.96. Last year was 6,023.99. Today's level is 6,020.58. And your Deadpool level is 5,775. And continue to roll. Two years ago, the water was 22.38 feet lower than it is today. One year ago, the level was 3.41 feet lower than it is today. Today, and we are 245.58 for Lake Navajo to be below Deadpool. And we continue to roll down to Lake Navajo's inflows versus outflows. Your inflows are currently 923. Your outflows are 567. And we continue to go on down. The percentage in 2022 ended up being 74.72% lower than it was the previous year, 100 being the normal. And so far they have released 0.6 nine percent of what they did from your 74.72 this year this water year and we continue to roll on total releases so far this year have been 2247 in 2022 they released 324,358 acre feet 2021 they released 434,105 acre feet your storage acre feet at Lake Navajo's 871,395 currently. Lake Navajo is down 0.18 feet in the last 14. Lake Navajo is up though 0.02 in the last 24 hours. And your percentage of capacity is currently 
51.38% of capacity, a little over 50% full. Down to Blue Mesa we go. Blue Mesa's water level 7,446.28 feet to level 72.72 feet below. The level is 72.72 feet below full pool of 7,519.40 feet. And we continue to scoot on. Full pool level 7,519.4. And on this date in 2020, the level was 7,469.93. Last year's level was 7,435.75. This year is a little higher. 7,446.28. Your Deadpool level 7,358. And we continue to scoot. One year ago, the level was 10.53 feet higher. Two years ago, the level was 23.65 feet lower. Deadpool's 88.28, and we check the inflows versus the outflows at Blue Mesa. Blue Mesa's inflows are 730. Your outflows are currently 1,200. Blue Mesa released 75.05 in 2020 compared to 2021, and so far this year they have released 0.79. It's very early in the water year, and we continue to roll on. Total release so far this year, 4,760, and total released in 2022 ended up being 601,296 acre feet. Blue Mesa is down 3.47 feet in the last 14 days. Blue Mesa is down 0.18 feet in the last 24 hours. Percentage of capacity 34.88%. Storage acre feet is 289,329. Down to Lake Powell we go next. The level at Lake Powell is currently 3,529.51 feet. The level's a 170.49 feet below full pool of 3700 and we continue to roll on full pool it will always be 3700 in 2020 the level was 3595.83 feet last year was 3545.29 feet this year is 3529.43 feet and inactive pool power loss is 3,490, and your dead pool will always be 3,370 at Lake Powell, and we continue to roll on the levels 15.86 feet from one year ago, and the levels down 66.40 feet from two years ago. The levels 39.43 feet away from power loss and inactive pool, and they like to keep that 35 foot buffer, so we're almost back to that 35 foot buffer. Keep that in mind, we're only 4.43 feet away from that. And your Deadpool is 159.43 feet away from Deadpool, way closer to that inactive pool than we are Deadpool. So that is something to monitor over the next couple months to see if that goes down or up, and we continue to roll. Your inflows versus your outflows. Your current inflows are 10,658. Your current outflows are 7,810. Lake Powell is up 0.08 in the last 24 hours. Some good news for a change. The lake is on a rise. Usually it doesn't rise this time of year, so we will take it. Lake Powell is up 0.13 over the last 14 days. Lake Powell is up 7.09 since the water low. Now, I assume this is last year because they have changed these other ones downstream saying that the water low started the new water year so they did not update it on this site so we will see if that changes over the course of time it probably will storage acre feet is 5,808,064 and percentage of capacity is currently 23.88 percent of capacity and there is currently 1,892,500 Sixty-five million nine hundred fifty-four thousand and one hundred and twenty-three gallons of water in Lake Powell right now as we speak. So we continue to roll down. Now here is the amount that they released. They should be releasing a hundred. They have to release a required. They didn't get it. I haven't seen any news on why they didn't get it. Initially, it was supposed to be seven million five hundred, but now it's seven million according to an article I read that some viewers have pointed out to me. Thank you guys for sharing that with me. And here we are, and this is what the final totals were for the water year, and that was 
3.09%. And they didn't quite get to that 100% mark, and that just baffles me. And then this year so far, they have released 0.41% of that. So they got a long way to go from that. We got 363 days left. Total releases so far this year have been 31,044 acre feet. And then we go down to total released in 2022, not the 7 million that was supposed to happen, 6,982,063. And your total required was 7 million and they just didn't get there. As we keep on rolling here, we are off to Lake Mead next. Lake Mead's currently 1,045.23 and a lot of people were saying that the lake reached above 1,045 and that they weren't going to go to a tier 2. Now, I still think they're going to go to the tier 2B even though they did get there. We will see. There has not been anything reported on it, but I believe that the they should, but I did see that California still didn't get any cuts, even with those new restrictions coming. So, I mean, is that because of they knew it was going to be above 1,045 by October 1st? I just don't know that answer, but if I find out that answer, I will be relaying it on to you. I hope I do find out that answer. The level is down 83.77 Feet below full pool of 1,229, and we continue to roll on. Full pool levels. As we roll out to Lake Havasu, you can see that Lake Havasu is currently 447.96 feet. And I got to edit that again and show. Edit slides. One thousand two hundred and twenty nine, like always, and on this date in two thousand twenty, the level was one thousand eighty three point one nine. On this date, two thousand twenty one, the level was one thousand sixty seven point seven five, and today's level is one thousand forty five point two three. Your inactive pool is nine hundred fifty, and your dead pool will always be eight hundred ninety five. Lake Mead is currently twenty two point five two feet lower than it was one year ago. Lake Mead is also so 37.96 feet lower than it was two years ago. Inactive pools 95.23 feet away. Dead pools 150.23 and we continue to slide on down. Lake Mead only released 95.50% of capacity so they didn't even release the total amount of water that they were supposed to. Once again I'm still not sure why that is. I wish I knew. I'm going to ask those questions when I get out there to find out why they didn't release as much water as they were allocated to even though it says required and where I come from required means you have to and they didn't do it so I'm curious why that didn't happen I'm thankful that they didn't happen but I'm just curious why it did not happen I have my assumptions but one can only assume so much so far they have released 0.33 percent this year and we continue to check what happened last year at this time total releases so far have been 30,070 this year total release for 2022 water year were 8,844,062 acre feet and they are required to release 9 million as of right now that number should be closer to 7 million but this is what we got going on right at the current time. Lake Mead's inflows versus their outflows their current inflows are 12,546 and the current outflows are 6,990, and we continue to roll on. Lake Mead is up 0.72 in the last 14 days. Lake Mead is up 0.11 in the last 24 hours, and Lake Mead is up 0.11 from the water year. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, that they started over here, but down in the upper Colorado, they did not. So I'm thinking that they messed up up there. So we'll be monitoring that. Lake Mead is up 28.35% of capacity and storage acre feet is currently 7,377,000 acre feet down to Lake Mojave next. Lake Mojave is currently 6386 the level is 8.24 feet below full pool of 647. Your full pool level at Lake Mojave, 647. Your level in 
2020 was 635.08 feet. Your level last year was 637.76 feet. And today's level 638.76 feet. Your Deadpool level is 533 feet. Lake Mojave is up one foot from one year ago. Lake Mojave is up 3.68 feet from two years ago. And Lake Mojave is 105.76 feet away from Deadpool. And we continue to roll on. Your inflows are currently 8,170. Your outflows are 9,400. And they released less than normal too. They all released less than normal here. 94.01% less than normal that they released in 2021. Over 2022, they released 94.01. So this year so far, they've released 0.43. So they haven't even released 1% yet. And we continue to scoot on. Total release so far in 2023 was... 36,100 total released in 2022 at 8,489,622. 2021, they released 9,030,977 acre feet. And that is way different than what they should have released. They didn't quite make it either. They were 5.99% away from releasing the required that's required at least at Lake Mead. So long way. I don't understand that logic. Lake Mojave is down 3.07 feet in the last 14. Lake Mojave is up 1.07 feet from the water year low. Lake Mojave is down 0.23 inches in the last 24 hours. Percentage of capacity is currently 87.71%. Storage acre feet is currently 1,587,400 acre feet. As we roll out to Lake Havasu, you can see that the current water level is 447.96 feet. The level is 2.96 feet above full pool of 445. And we roll out to the full pool level, and the full pool level is currently 445 feet. And that is your full pool level. And you can see that they're all above it. 448.95 feet above full pool. That was 2020. Last year was 449.07 feet above full pool. And the current level is 447.96 feet above full pool. And then we go to your power loss is 440 and your Deadpool is 400 feet. And and we roll out, check out the percentage of capacity. And it's a growing theme from Lake Powell all the way to Lake Mead to Lake Mojave and now Lake Kavasu. They only ended up releasing 97.43. They were probably the closest to releasing 100%, but they even held back a little bit more water than they're supposed to. Curious why that is. And 0.61% is the capacity there. And then we also total release for this year have been been 38,083. They've actually released more than any lake thus far starting off the year. Now that will change, I'm sure. Total releases in 2022 were 6,231,342 acre feet. And the year before in 2021, they released 6,395,841 acre feet. Your inflows versus your outflows. Your current inflows are 10,000. Your current outflows are 8,800 and we continue to scoot on. Lake Havasu is down 0.62 over the last 14 readings. Lake Havasu is down 0.56 in the last 24 hours. That's crazy. That's almost a foot. Lake Havasu is 80. Lake Havasu is 97.43% of capacity. Storage acre feet is 567,100. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up and a like if you did and we will see you on the next one. God bless.